Hello, everybody, and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here, and today is February 8th, which means it's the 20th anniversary of California Adventure, the second gate to the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. And to celebrate that, today I'm releasing this awesome ranked list of every single ride and attraction at the park, and it was all decided by you. So back when my original Disneyland ranked video went up, I sent out a call to action and asked viewers of that video to do the same exact thing for the smaller sibling park right next door. Now in this list, we'll be seeing attractions, rides, and reoccurring shows, but don't expect any character meet and greets or shows that only happen a couple times a day. Oh, and don't forget, walkthrough exhibits will be included in this list as well, since DCA has plenty of them. But before we get going into this list, I wanted to thank my YouTube members for going that extra mile in supporting this channel. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. It's completely free and it helps out a ton. So with that, let's get to ranking every single ride and attraction at Disney California Adventure Park. Starting this list off at number 26 is something I would have said was the best ride in the world, at least when I was about three or four years old. This is the miniature children's drop tower jumping jellyfish in the Paradise Park section of California Adventure. Now moving to 25, we go to Pixar Pier for Jesse's Critter Carousel for some rootin' tootin' fun before heading to another side of the Pixar universe in Inside Out Emotional Whirlwind. We're staying in that section of the park though for number 23, which is Golden Zephyr, one of only a handful of rides that has been completely unchanged from opening day. At 22, we have our first walkthrough experience and this is the Blue Sky Cellar. And if you don't know where this is, it's actually right in front of Cars Land's main entrance. And I would say definitely check it out whenever the park reopens. Now coming in at number 21, we have another walkthrough at the Pacific Wharf and this is the bakery tour, which even gives you a tasty slice of sourdough bread. Now, number 20 is one of the newer things to do at the park, and this is Mickey's Philhar Magic, which is a fun little 3D show featuring the Fab Five and many, many more. At number 19, we keep with that magical theme and head to the Sorcerer's Workshop, which is another walkthrough experience before heading to the non-swinging gondolas on Pixar Pal Around at Pixar Pier. At number 17, we head back next to Sorcerer's Workshop for Turtle Talk with Crush, a fun interactive experience with Crush himself. And at 16, we see the red car trolley making its bright and beautiful appearance on this list. At number 15, though, we head to Radiator Springs for Luigi's Rollickin' Roadsters. And after experiencing a little bit of a spin out, we'll head to number 14, for the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, which as a kid was a wonderland for me. At 13, we have a crowd favorite and that is the Animation Academy, where you can learn how to draw all of your favorite Disney characters. And at number 12, we have Monsters Inc, Mike and Sully to the rescue. Just another one of those rides I loved as a kid. For number 11, we're gonna head back to Paradise Bay for the Silly Symphony Swings, which is just a classic swing ride with a beautiful view. Next up at number 10, we head right next door to Goofy's Sky School, which is the first roller coaster on this list. And it features many hairpin and terrifying turns, as well as tons of drops, stops, and even more wacky and goofy moments. And speaking of hairpin turns, we head to Mater's Junkyard Jamboree at number nine in Radiator Springs. At number eight, we have one of the newer dark rides at the park, and this is the Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure, which takes you under the sea and lets you experience the entire story from a certain seagull's point of view. At number seven, though, we head back to the Pixar Pal Around Ferris Wheel 
for the swinging gondola version, which I will probably never ride. And at number six, we had right next door to Toy Story Midway Mania, the shooting dark ride, which is a real family favorite, especially if you're competitive. With that though, we've already made it to the top five in the park. I know it's gone real quick, but this is really where the park shines. With many of these rides being interchangeable and easily some of the best experiences at the whole of the Disneyland Resort. So without further ado, at number five, we have Grizzly River Run, the raft ride at the park, which was an opening day attraction and is easily the most themed and immersive raft ride I can think of on the West Coast. Oh, and it's got that crazy big drop that is the biggest in California. Heading to number four, or I guess I should say flying, we have Soarin' Around the World, the ride that makes it feel like you're visiting major landmarks all over Earth, all within a couple of minutes. Now heading to number three, we have the second roller coaster at the park. Park. And this, of course, is the Increta Coaster, the longest roller coaster in the world that features an inversion. That's right, it goes upside down just one time and is the only ride at the entire resort that does so. But add in the crazy antics of Jack Jack and all of the Incredibles and some of their friends with a 55 mile an hour launch, plenty of airtime, and of course, that loop. This ride is really unforgettable and easily deserves a spot this high on the list. Now, number two, I will be honest with you, this kind of surprised me, but we have Radiator Springs Racers in Cars Land, the main attraction in that area of the park, if not for the whole park. This ride is a dark ride slash racing hybrid ride that first takes you on a scenic drive to Radiator Springs and then through kind of a scary journey, which results in you taking on another car and vehicle for race day, which zips you around faster than you'd think and is something I easily would wait a couple of hours for, which for a lot of these rides, after visiting the park so much, I must say I would be a little impatient with the waits, but Radiator Springs Racers is just one of those rides I will wait for. Now, number one, the only thing that's left is, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, which opened what seems like yesterday, but this is a crazy cross between a dark ride, a motion simulator, and of course, a drop tower. You find yourself looking at the Tavon collection and the Guardians of the Galaxy before, of course, Rocket manages to escape. Now, he needs your help though, so you board a gantry lift and in a crazy act of heroism, help all of the Guardians escape successfully, as well as the entirety of the Tavon collection. But not without going up and down at crazy heights and speeds, resulting in pure weightlessness while rocking out to an incredible soundtrack. Now, personally, I completely agree with this spot because it is just all around fun, but I can't help but think that there are definitely a couple of rides on this list that easily could have taken number one, but I'm super happy with the results nonetheless. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you all so much for watching and thanks especially to over 100 people who voted in this poll. Now I'm curious though, what other parks do you wanna see in this series? We've already done Knott's, Six Flags Magic Mountain, of course, Disneyland, and now California Adventure. But would you like to see a SeaWorld San Diego, a California's Great America, a Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, or maybe even some parks in Texas, Utah, or Missouri? Let me know, of course, what you wanna see in the future down in the comments below, and I will do all I can to make all of those eventually a reality. So thank you all so much again for commenting, liking, subscribing, and of course watching. It means the absolute world. But until next time, we'll see you on the next ride.